Oh. Hello, Potato, and welcome to Day 16 of Adventures Assemble, where, I don't know, there's really not much point in going on anymore. We already got the best possible thing we could get out of the Disney Dorables calendar, the Cheshire Cat. It's the one I wanted the most. We've got it now. We still have another, what, eight days, nine days to go with this? Yeah, we have another nine more boxes to open, and we've already got the, the best possible thing. I'm not even sure there are any more minifigures to be had over the next nine days. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, we, we can call it now. Disney Dorables overall has won by giving us the Cheshire Cat. And arguably, arguably, the cooler of the two Cheshire Cats. The only thing that could be possibly cooler would be to give us the other Cheshire Cat, which I don't see that being particularly likely, but it's random, so it's possible, I suppose. I mean, I'm assuming it's random. But let's see, day number 16, because yesterday LEGO gave us this thing... Which I'm assuming is part one of something. Hopefully today will be part two. Let's find out. Um, is Loki in this? Is there a Loki minifigure? Because that looks an awful lot like a Loki throne to me. Let's get it built and see what you think. There we have our lovely green throne. Uh, yeah, I'm getting some like real, real Loki vibes off that to me. So maybe there's a Loki figure. In there. I don't have a proper Loki minifigure. I only have the one of him in his TVA suit from the uh, original Marvel Studios collectible minifigure series. So that would be cool to have a Loki figure. Kind of a weird spoiler to give us the throne first. Also weird that it's kind of a, kind of a rocking throne. And it rocks sideways. I guess if you twiddle your leg a lot, you can kind of rock from side to side. So it doesn't doesn't seem to connect to this in any way, but it's definitely better than that. It's one of the better mini builds we've had, other than like the fireplace. I guess we can put it. You can put it by the fireplace, and you can rock in front of the fire. Just rock out in front of the fire. I feel like we need at least one more thing to go on this. Okay, I think a good showing. A good showing from Lego today. As far as mini builds go, that's a good one, and I feel like this could be a little tricky for Dorables to outdo. I mean, we've already had two color reveals. We've already had Santa Mickey. Unless you're giving like Facilier or Anger, I don't know. I don't know what today could be that will beat that throne. So let's uh, find out by opening window number 16. And seeing what's in the little landfill bag today. The bag is bag number 38. What are we getting? 38. I'm sure there are people out there who know what each number on the bag means. I'm not one of them. Today is Elastigal. Uh, hmm. Not bad. Goes with Jack Jack, although, although I must say, woefully out of scale with him. Jack Jack is, I guess maybe that's one of Jack Jack's like special power forms where he can turn into like the same size as his mom. I mean, if you can turn to fire and stuff, why not? But uh, does it beat, does it beat a very Loki inspired throne? It doesn't. It absolutely does not. Lego wins today. Elastigal's nice. She has that unpleasant texture on her hair though. Oh, we have some like, oh, that's, oh, even if I wasn't unsure, that definitely would have cost it. Let's get this glue error back here. Can you see on the camera? It's a, like, glue, like, just ran. I guess they must assemble them this way. The glue ran, like, all the way up from her neck to, like, half at the back of her head. I mean, you can't see that on display. Do you play with these? Do I, I mean, I'm not you specifically. Do children play with these? Or are they just shelf collectibles? I feel like they're shelf collectibles. But then I feel like if I had them as a kid, I would I would have imagined to have played with them. But yeah, 
Uh, that in particular, that, you lose points for that, but you already lost to the throne anyways. If it had been closer, that could have been a deciding factor. And now, potentially for the last couple times, we have the Mystical Magical Coin. There's only two days left in Festive Flavors. After that, it's going to be all craft cocktails. So if you want to continue your screen time, you better say yes when I ask. Are we having a craft cocktail today? No. No, we're not. The coin really just uh, must, be, must be tired. It's uh, I've only had it for less than a year. It's never done so much work. Or I think that it hasn't done any work. So uh, it's getting worn out being used 16 days in a row. It just it doesn't think it can make it to 24. But tomorrow might be its last appearance. Because uh, once we finish the festive flavors here, I have no more need for it. And the last week will all be craft cocktails. So today we're having, ooh, this is one of the ones I was not especially looking forward to. The cinnamon, big, hot flavored whiskey. I'm guessing it's like a off-brand fireball. Bring the heat. 60 proof that it's an alcohol. So I have a slight, or at least I have. I don't know if I do anymore or not. I really haven't. I haven't tested it in recent years. But at least in the past, I've had a, a bit of a sensitivity to candy cinnamon, like Big Red Gum, Cinnamon Star Brights, Cinnamon Red Hots, Cinnamon Jelly Beans, in that um, they like make my tongue swell up a little bit. Not like, not like anaphylactic shock or anything, but uh, they do make me tend to lose my sense of flavor for, or sense of taste for a couple days. So hopefully that's not going to be an issue here. But let's uh, pour ourselves some out. And give it a try. It's our holiday spirits for the day. Our eye opener. Our morning beverage. Oh my, that is a combination of smells. Whiskey and cinnamon. It does smell like somebody like whizzed up a red hot into there. All right, down the hatch. Yeah, but it tastes exactly like an atomic fireball without the heat. Oddly, yeah, there's like no heat. I expected, I expected some heat on the tongue there, but it tastes like an atomic fireball. I used to love atomic fireballs when I was younger. And then I got to the point where I would eat one and then I would talk like this and have no sense of taste for a few days. So I don't eat them anymore. And it's kind of a shame. So uh, we'll see. We'll see if this does that to me or not. I think I may have had a little bit less than normal because I, I don't, I really don't want to like lose my sense of taste when we have another, another week of these to go. We can, we can change. We can one, eight more days, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. The 17th to the 24th. So we're, we're not, we're not done yet. We're over, we're over halfway. We're well over halfway. We've been over halfway for a few days. I mean, it's not bad. I, I just, I do worry about what it's going to do to my tongue and it's not as hot. I expected Call it big hot. I expected it's it's definitely bold flavor, but it's not hot. Not to me anyway. It's not it's not hot sauce hot. It's not even atomic fireball hot. It's uh, but it's cinnamon. It is definitely tastes like a cinnamon candy, and I suppose that's probably what you're looking for out of it. But that wraps us up another day. Day 16 is in the books. Uh, an interesting mini build from Lego. Lego wins the day. I don't dislike Elastigal, but that's pretty cool. And if it gives me the hopes that there's going to be a Loki in here somewhere, that is, that is a definite plus. But I do thank you for watching today. I hope you've been watching the whole time. If you haven't, go check out the Adventures Assemble 2023 playlist and catch up. And then come on back tomorrow for day 17. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. See you then.